Hello and welcome to Trust TV. Around this time of year, our colleagues in occupational health begin their staff autumn vaccination programme, and this year has been no different. I'm delighted today to be joined by Neil Tahoney, the Health Protection Service Lead Nurse in the Southern Trust, and he's here today to talk a bit about the staff vaccination programme. So Neil, the team have already started going out and about delivering the vaccines. How is it going so far? Yes, Louise. So the program's actually going really well um, to date. So we're within our second week of offering our staff the vaccinations. Um, and to date, I think this is clinic seven now that we're on. We are sitting at around 1800 vaccines um, given. And that's a combination of both flu and COVID. So but the uptake has been really, really positive. Um, and we're really happy with the response so far. We are planning clinics until uh, early December. So there'll be plenty of opportunity for staff to avail a vaccination. Um, up until then. And you mentioned there that the vaccinations are both COVID and flu. So why is it important for staff to get both vaccines? Yes, so obviously the flu vaccination programme has been running every year um, for a long time now. The COVID booster vaccination is still relatively new. Um, there are tweaks within vaccinations every year, and that's to kind of incorporate the changes that we see in terms of different variants, different viruses that are circulating. So the flu vaccine is adapted every year. Um, and the reason it's important to get it every year is because obviously it protects against the circulating strains. In relation to the COVID vaccination, um, our new bivalent Pfizer vaccination is now incorporating also protection against Omicron, which we know is the dominant strain that's circulating at the minute. Um, so it's really important that uh, obviously you avail of these vaccinations, um, mostly obviously to protect yourself, um, but not just yourself, it's also to protect your colleagues, uh, your communities, and also your patients that you're caring for as well. It's about protecting others, isn't it, as well? Yeah, so obviously whenever you get a vaccination, the key aim is to protect yourself. But what you do as well is protect your communities. Obviously, if there's less of the virus circulating around and if there's less people who are infected, um, that creates a bit of a bubble of protection to those around you who may be more uh, at risk of developing complications from infections such as flu and of COVID as well. So by obtaining the vaccine and availing of the vaccination offer, you're not just protecting yourself, but you are protecting your community both within work and outside of work. So for our staff here in the Southern Trust, what groups or what cohorts um, are allowed to come along and avail of the vaccinations? Yeah, so there's two cohorts of people who can avail of vaccinations that are dedicated staff clinics. Um, they are frontline staff and also all of our staff who are over the age of 50. Um, by frontline, um, the definition is quite broad. So it's basically anybody who's involved in direct patient face-to-face -face contact, but also those um, people who are involved in social contact. Um, for example, anybody whose job would take them regularly into a clinical area. So that ranges from everything from our, our professions within nursing, midwifery and medics. Um, and it, but also includes your colleagues in catering, support services and estates who will regularly be in areas where inpatients are being cared for. So that is that they're in, included within our frontline definition. We also have our lab staff involved in that and any staff who's involved in residential or daycare units or long stay units. Um, and like I said, then any staff member who is over the age of 50, um, regardless of job role, can come forward to our dedicated staff clinics for their vaccinations. And I'm sure there's still quite a number of staff who are maybe working from home that might be over that over 50 bracket. So if they're maybe not located anywhere close to our, our clinics, the trust clinics, where could they avail of the vaccines? Is there anywhere else? Yes, so there, there's a number of clinics that ways across the Southern Trust in different sites, and um, both in community and hospital settings, um, for our staff that they can attend any one of these that's close to their home. Um, if there is a clinic that doesn't suit in terms of time or uh, location, um, our staff and any healthcare staff can still avail of their vaccination at any community pharmacy. All that they ask is you that you bring along your staff ID, and there is a list of those community pharmacies who are offering the vaccination on the SharePoint as well. And what about, we hear loads of time, times people talking about myths about vaccinations and safety of vac vaccinations or the vaccines. So what would you say to someone who's maybe read something online and it's causing them a bit of hesitation about coming forward? 
Yeah, so with everything, there's always going to be myths. And, you know, it is important that people do trust the processes involved in terms of developing a vaccination. You know, every vaccine goes through rigorous testing um, and obviously has different stages in terms of making sure that it is then approved for general public use. Um, I would always recommend that people make sure that this, the source or the, or the source of their information is always based on the fact that it is scientific. You know, there are some excellent resources by the Public Health Agency, as well as the NHS website in relation to vaccine and vaccine safety, um, specifically to do with flu, uh, flu vaccination and COVID. Um, the vaccines are incredibly safe. Um, there are very, very few people who can't have these vaccines. And like I said, it offers excellent protection, um, both for yourself and your, for your communities um, during the winter, the winter months. Um, so if people do have queries in relation to their vaccine safety or if they have a specific condition, we always recommend that they speak to either somebody at the vaccination clinic, um, their general practitioner, or the specialist who oversees their care. That's great information there, Neil. So the staff clinics, they're located trust-wide and we're asking staff to book their appointments um, via the booking portal online, which can be accessed via the SharePoint homepage, the staff app, which for anyone who wants to download it, it can be found on Google Play and the Apple Store, or they can simply book the vaccinations by visiting vaccinations.covid-19.hscni.net forward slash booking. Thank you very much, Neil. Thank you, Louise.